time all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Vlogmas. It is December 1st. I am all dressed up today for my dentist appointment. Woohoo. Um, but I'm really excited to be doing Vlogmas this year. I've done it the last two years, and the way I do it um, is I do like a weekly vlog and I do a lot of Christmas themed activities. Um, today, after my dentist appointment, my dad and I are going to go uh, pick up a real Christmas tree, so I will show you guys that. This weekend, Nick, my boyfriend, and I are going to Phipps Conservatory in Pittsburgh to see all the pretty Christmas flowers. We have lots of fun Christmas dates. We're going to take you along with us in Pittsburgh, ice skating, uh, shopping at Market Square in the little holiday market. I also have a lot of things to do on my own, like I want to show you guys different Christmas recipes and my advent calendars, um, style inspiration, so it's just going to be a whole lot of different Christmas themed activities and just a way for me to look back on my Christmases and remember them. So if you think you'd be interested in that, I hope you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and keep on watching. So this is my little setup. We have a peppermint marshmallow candle burning. It smells so good. We have this little tree, it does light up, but I'm not gonna turn it on right now. And then this is my advent calendar from Look Fantastic. Um, it has a whole bunch of different beauty products, makeup and skincare um, for each day leading up till Christmas. So I'm really excited to see what's in here. And I think we have to open up day one. Could be it. Okay. Oh, okay. So Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cleanser. I must say, I feel like that was kind of a cheat. I definitely expected it to be like a big face palette or something, but um, this is a really expensive brand and I guess it will be nice for travel. Um, I wanted to get Look Fantastic because I wanted products I could actually use and they were actually good because I considered doing the NYX one because it was a lot cheaper, but I was like, mm, I don't want just a bunch of NYX eyeliners that I probably won't wear much, so that's kind of why I opted for this one. But I must say, day one was kind of disappointing. Well, I made it to my dentist appointment and Spotify Wrapped came out, um, so I just quickly checked it in the parking lot in my top on Spotify. I'll put it right here, but my top genre was indie pop and like my top artist was, um, I forget who, but like Ty Verides was number five. And I was like, how is that possible? I feel like I barely listened to him, but anyway, I don't know. It's always so interesting to see, um, what other people have listened to. And I just like sharing it. I think it's fun. I know some people think it's annoying, but I think it's kind of cool to see what you've listen to over the year but Spotify is not really my main listening platform um I like buy songs and download them onto my iPhone I also have Sirius XM so I also use Pandora I don't know I listen to a lot of music but Spotify is probably not my main thing that I use so maybe that's why because Taylor Swift is definitely like my most listened to artist yeah I'm in the parking lot just waiting for a text to see if I can go in it's kind of like their COVID protocol where you have to sit in the parking lot and wait till you get texted um because they don't want to like crowd the waiting room or anything so that's what's up for this afternoon I did take a half day of work so I could come to this appointment because it's it's about 45 minutes from my house with traffic and yeah, you basically need like a half day to come out here. Hey you guys, my room is a little bit chaotic, but a couple days went by. It's now Friday um, and we did not end up going to the tree farm because it was super rainy and storming and we just couldn't go. So um, my dad actually went this afternoon, um, but I still had to work. So I'm here and I just finished up work. Um, 
and got ready really quick. Um, and actually also filmed a YouTube video. So it was very chaotic, but um, we're all good now. And I'm gonna head to the mall and meet up with Nick. We're gonna go to Condado and get some tacos and marks um, to kick off our weekend. And then we're gonna do some Christmas shopping. It is candle day at Bath and Body Works. So definitely wanna hit that up and get some candles. Yesterday I got my hair cut. She did an okay job. I kind of don't like how she did my front pieces. I feel like they're really not blended well. Um, but she took a good amount off, like not too much or not too little. And I think I like my bangs, but again, I don't know. I feel like they could just do a better job at like blending this part in. And they should have like made it thinner. I don't know. I got my hair cut at Ulta, but anyway, um... I'm gonna put on some red lipstick and be a little more festive and then head out to the mall and hopefully not get stuck in too much traffic. Also, this is what I got for my advent calendar today. It's a Hydra setting spray by this brand. I have no idea how to pronounce, but it looks really bougie and I'm excited to try it out. So you guys, I just got home and my mom surprised me with a wine advent calendar. Tell them where you got it from. I got it from QVC. I am so excited. Yeah. I am obsessed with this. I Let's open it like up. It. Let's open up the first day. Wait, I think we have to open it. She says that I punched this through. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. Oh my god. Oh, a Chardonnay. Wow. I'm not a big Chardonnay fan, but this is really cool. So here is my outfit for our little date night. I have this shirt. It's from Target. It's really old. And then my mom jeans from American Eagle. We are going to Phipps to see the flowers and also celebrate our two year anniversary. And we're gonna go get some pizza at Mercurio's. Uh, they have delicious pizza and wine. And so we're gonna have a little fun and festive Christmas date night. And I will try to take you guys along as much as I can. I know I failed at mall vlogging, completely forgot to show our dinner and just got too caught up in being in the moment, but really wanna try to vlog. Um, tonight and then tomorrow I'm going to show you guys the candles I got from Bath and Body Works and then probably wrap up this vlog. I am wearing the Ruby Woo lipstick that I showed in my Black Friday haul. I really, really like it and I would definitely recommend if you have fair skin because I think it looks really flattering and I really like it. So we just got dropped off by our Uber. <laughs> Some people are being very loud over there. And we had a wonderful dinner of pizza and wine at Mercurio's, one of our favorite pizza places in the city. And now we're at Phipps and we're gonna go see the pretty lights and enjoy some holiday magic. Yay! <laughs>
guys, it is Sunday. I'm back home from a lovely weekend. We had a great time at Phipps yesterday. We went to brunch today at the Urban Tab. Cannot recommend that enough. If you're ever in Pittsburgh, they have great brunch, great dinner. Um, kind of like American Southern style food. Um, and they also have great cocktails. But I picked up a bunch of candles on Friday from Candle Day, as promised. I am gonna show you guys what I got. Um, first, I got the Gingham um, Shower Gel by Bath and Body Works um, as my free item. They had I had a bunch of coupons. One was for like a free item value up to thirteen fifty, so I got this. Um, and then I also got ten dollars off my order. Um, so the candles were all on sale for like ten ninety nine or so. Um, the first one I picked up was Autumn. I will save this for next fall, of course. I just love this scent. It's just a very classic, clean, fall time scent, and I'll probably start burning it like next September, end of August. It just smells like a clean apple orchard. And then I picked up Marshmallow Fireside. I always think this is a nice January candle to kind of transition from Christmas um, into kind of the boring time of January. It's not like too holiday-like, but it's like a little bit festive. It, it adds a little sparkle to your January. And this just smells like, honestly, like a really clean marshmallow scent. It's not too overbearing. I don't like candles that are like super sweet. And then I got Paris Cafe. I got this idea from Renee Amberg. She said to burn this while you drink morning coffee and it feels like you're in a cafe. And I thought that was a really cute idea and I definitely wanted it. It does smell like coffee, so if you like the scent of coffee, you would absolutely love this. If you don't like coffee, I would not pick this up. Um, I kind of like this elegant, like, chestnut brown packaging, too. That smells really, really good. Even better than I thought the first time. And then I picked up a Tis the Season for, obviously, this month to burn. This is one of my favorite holiday candles. It just smells like a nice, like, apple cinnamon scent um, with, like, a hint of freshness. Wow, I'm, like, right on on these notes. It says rich red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. The cedar wood would be that little bit of freshness. So, anyway, that is my Candle Day haul. Um, I think I'm going to be wrapping up this vlog here and starting week two. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.